What is going on, Pokemon community? It is Poke Collector NYC here, back again with another video. This time, we are opening up a Pokemon Center Elite Trainer box to see if it's worth it to keep it op to keep it sealed or open these up. Now, normally, if you bought this from the Pokemon Center, you can see this one is a, a little bit ripped, which is why we're actually going to test the theory out with this one because it's already kind of like the you know the it's already been kind of like ripped open. I guess came it came like this from Pokemon Center. Um, so normally Pokemon Center would have this retail for about $50 in the secondary market. This is going for about $70 to $80. Um, so let's see if it is, we're using the worst case scenario of $80. Let's see if this is worth it to keep sealed or open. Obviously big chases out of these from the non-trainer galleries, the Charizards and alternate art Arceus. And then from the trainer gallery, it is going to be, I'm just double checking here. I'm pretty sure it's still the same cards. The Umbreon and Sylveon. Umbreon still holding at about a $40 card. But let's see um, if we can get any of those or if we can just add on to our um, actual uh, personal collection of the Master Set. Thanks everybody for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel, hitting the notification bell, and smashing the like button. And shout out to SRG Grading and Blue EX for being Patreon members. Now, with this, um there are 10 booster packs unlike the other elite train the normal elite train boxes which come with about eight um some sleeves and a couple other things here that i'm not even going to mention because we're mainly looking to see if it's worth it now i will tell you if this was 80 dollars, there are some cool things in here that come uh well the additional two packs definitely help but i mean for me i mean 10 packs even if retail of the packs were five dollars I think these are definitely much better worth it at the $5 mark, or the $50 mark. Um, but let's see what we can do here. Um, again, a reload of the packaging. First off, the deck box. Definitely an awesome deck box that comes with this one versus the uh, Elite Trainer box. So this is already pretty cool, kind of like exclusive to, this, to the uh, Pokemon Center ones. And then, well, I already gave you the code card, so I'm just going to have to trade it off. Code card for you right there. Enjoy. Um, and then we have the, uh, cool Pokemon Center, uh, Elite Trainer Box, Pokemon Center exclusive Elite Trainer Box sleeves. I think these are slightly different from the ones from the regular ETB. Um, and then we have here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Boosher packs. Everything else seems to be pretty much the same as usual. All right. So we have 10 packs here. Um, like I said, smash that like button. Um, let's see, is it worth it to open these up? Now, I'm going to keep the first code card just because I already gave you the, set, the the one that came in the um, that came in the box. So that one is going to go here, but I will give you the rest. So let's see what we can get here. Ooh, maybe there's a trainer gallery card there that we don't have. Let's find out. Cynthia Ambition, Kalang, Kara Blast, uh, the Mancino, Turtwig. Piplup, I'm just gonna move the uh, booster pack right there, Shroomish. And there was Orangaroo, look at that, Trainer Gallery. So we got our first hit, not too bad. Orangaroo is a nice character rare or Trainer Gallery rare. Um, we're gonna put that to the side for now as we have gotten our first hit. Uh, so normally an Elite Trainer box comes with 2.2 hits, a normal one, but with Trainer Gallery, plus the fact this comes with two booster pack, additional booster packs, I don't know what the actual hit ratio is going to be. Um, there's your first, well, your second code card of the day. Um, so let's see what we could do here. Um, a Chinchino, a Starly, a Riolu, Staryu, Impident, Murmury, a Reverse Team Yelchir, and Clink Clang. I actually, I wanted to look up, I'm pretty sure, I'm 9% sure that in the Trainer Gallery, that Orangaroo is not worth a lot. But it is pretty, because we're going to see if it's worth $80. Yeah, it's only like a $1.50 card. If it's worth $50 or the $80, which ones, if you were to get it off the Pokemon Center, is it worth it or not? All right. To keep open or seal, that's what I meant to say. Code card for you. Four. There you go. Uh, Primplup, Grodel, uh, Turbo Energy, Clefairy, Carablast. Milkery, Starly, is there another one? Ooh, another train gallery. This is probably Jolteon. 
Oh, it's a Denene. I actually don't have this one. So this is another great trainer gallery card and a Lapras. So pretty good so far, trainer gallery wise, the Dene. I don't think I have that one. I could be mistaken. Um, but again, so far we're only at about $3 in value in hints. Now with the uh, deck box, and I think the sleeves are worth a few dollars. So we'll probably put up the total there to see if it's even worth it to open. I think I did that right. Yes, we did. All right, so we this is our fourth pack out of 10. So we will speed this up a little bit. Halucha, Yuzel. Oh, I care blast. Staravia, are we actually gonna get a hit? We are, n oh, it's a Bill Barrow Hollow. Okay, so we got a Hollow, which are usually most Hollows are worth 50 cents. Uh, so I was pretty sure that was like the first black and white code versus just a white code card. Hopefully we get better than that in this. Um, let's see, four. But we did get two trainer gallery hits so far, so I don't know if that, rep I hope that doesn't replace the 2.2 uh, hit ratio. Murmury, star you. All right, Beatrix. And Heatran. All right, so we are halfway through. Not looking so good. Let's see. So far, I'm gonna tell you to keep it sealed. Could be a hit in here though, could be a hit. Yep, V-Star card. I think that replaces the reverse hollow slot. I'm pretty sure that either replaces the reverse hollow slot or uh, the uncommon slot. I don't remember off the top of my head. It's been a minute since I've opened something like this. Sock? No, it doesn't. And a Leopard. Okay, so there's no hit. That actually just threw me off. Weird. It's Oh, no, it replaces the energy. There's no energy. All right, so no hits. No hits out of the non trader gallery. Now there could be. I'm hoping there's something here because this is looking like a tough box right now. I mean, we only got like $3 worth of hits. Uh, Milkery, Purloin, Spiritoon, Starly, Chim Chimichow. Yes. <sighs> we have three packs left. I'm gonna say right now, so far, not, unless we pull a Charizard or a... Um, or a, whatchamacallit, a alt art Arceus, either a hyper rare Charizard, a alternate art Charizard, a hyper rare Arceus, or a gold Arceus will help save this box. Or even the full, to be fair, the full art Charizard could also help. The uh, non alternate, just like the full art V. So let's see. It's got to be one or the other. It's got to be just a handful of cards that are going to make it worth it. As of right now, uh, Snow Runt, Beltoy, uh, Minchino, Throw, and a Muck. <sighs> tough, tough box. <laughs> Wait a minute. Do we finally have a hit in here? We finally might have a hit. We finally might have a hit. Let's find out. All right, was, okay, good. It's not a, it's not a V Star card or whatever they were. Chimchar, cast form, Golette, impotent, Shinx. Are we finally gonna get something? I lied. It was a boss's order. Oh my gosh, this is tough. I thought there was something here. Wow, we're coming down to the last pack, and we have literally, legitimately, just two hollows. Needless to say, as of right now, unless we get something super wild, which I don't think we are, based on how this is going to go. All right, last card. Uh, last pack magic. Let's see what we got. Uh, I, again, there's only a handful of cards that's going to make this crazy. Uh, Cub Chew. Okay, Mimikyu VMAX. Um, I don't think this is of crazy value. Uh, let me double check. Pretty sure this is only... Oh, wait a minute, this is still a $20 card. Okay, $20 gallery card. Again, still $23 worth of hits, maybe with uh, the deck box and the sleeves. You get close to 30, maybe, maybe 28, let's go 28. I mean, even at the regular $50 one, it is not looking good. And that is it. We only got two hollows out of the regular set. All of our hits came from the subset. 
Again, I you know, this is my recommendation based on what we see here to keep these sealed. Uh, but thanks everybody for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel, hitting that notification bell, and let me know what you think. Are you gonna keep it sealed or are you gonna open it? Uh, and smash that like button. We'll see you next time, Pokemon community.